currently at the airport on the way to LA. Definitely not gonna be hopping in this line here. If you're ever flying in Denver and wanna get through security a little faster, go through bridge security. A little bit more of a walk, but you usually get through at least two to three times faster. It's honestly kind of nice not having the dreads anymore because no one's wanting to search them. See you, chump. Missed the first train, gonna have to catch the next one. Almost there. Almost there. Looks like it's starting to rain inside. Hopefully, this doesn't affect our flight at all. Shortly after takeoff, we'll be serving complimentary soft drinks, juice, and coffee. Listen. Just got off the plane, picked up luggage and everything. The flight was a little bumpy, but uh, made it through. Now I'm just out here waiting for Vaughn to come pick me up. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, you, bro. Uh, that's for you too, man. Yeah. Great we made it. It's a landing eight or something. Okay, yeah. That's good. There was a guy in the airport that was asking for a ride. And I was like, all right. He's like, I don't want to call Uber or Lyft because they're too expensive. Uh, he's like, but if you can just give me a ride, you know, we're like a few minutes away. Then he pulls up the map and it's like 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, we're pretty tight. I don't think we're going to be able to make that. Yeah, you first told me I was, at first I was cool with it, but then I thought about it. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. If he's willing to pay. Yeah, like, just there are other options that we can pay. Exactly, exactly. What's going on here? All right, Vaughn, for the vlog, why film? That's the question. Why do you want to shoot film? I want to shoot on film because I think uh, for the, type of, the type of filmmaker that I am in terms of uh, stories that are intimate and character driven and emotionally rich. Uh, the texture and aesthetic of film fits those type of stories better. I mean, then from a practical standpoint, you know, a lot of people say that it's more expensive, but I think uh, it adds to the quality of the story and it, it increases the amount of focus for uh, the cast and crew on set when you know that the amount of film that you have can potentially run out. It creates good pressure. It feels different than it's supposed to. And so uh, I want to recreate that feeling, you know, with, with the things that I make. So, that's the reason I chose to work on film. Well, Vaughn, what's going on, my man? Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, did you, were you aware that they have service on Friday night at the church? I was not aware. They, they're having it right now? Yeah, just, I just pulled up and I'm like, I didn't know you did. And I forgot to even read the front sign. They must have added something new or something. I don't know. Could you? But they, they, they're in there getting a Holy Jesus on. They just started? Yep, 7.30. All right, so we're in the church right now. We actually got here and they were doing service. It's a Hispanic church. So they have service every single day of the week. Um, so we had to wait for them to clear out. But now we're, we're in here uh, trying to get some uh, blocking kind of locked in so that when it's bright and early in the morning, we can get ready to move. Tech scout went well. I think we've got a good idea of what we're gonna do for tomorrow. I'm gonna throw up some of those reference images now and get back to Vaughn's place, load some film, sketch it out, and be ready to roll. What's good here, Vaughn? I mean, really, really everything. Like, there's two of these in the city. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, Everything's good. This is a good late, <laughs> good late night food spot. All right, so it is currently 12.15. Got our film here. 
that I will be loading tomorrow because I don't feel like loading it tonight. So time to get some rest and we'll see you on set. Good morning. Just took a shower, getting ready to get ready. Time to load up one of these cans of film here. A little desk seems like a good spot, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the tent. Gotta get that crafty, you know. I'm telling you, these Lo are the best ones. Those are good. Man. <laughs> Gotta do it. We on our way. Gonna make a movie. This is Landon. What's our up? gaffer came on last minute, really rocking it for us. He's yeah. gonna break us through our kind of lighting setup we got going on here. Outside each of these two windows, we've got a Source 4 Lico coming through, wide lens, just trying to hit. Right here, I mean, obviously, since all this is eating it up, it's not really carrying very far into the room, so we have some MCs that we're using to just carry that a little bit further. So you have this Vortex 8, which has been a hero of the day so far, pretty much our main key light that we've just kept right in the same spot all day long, established it as a key light, and just pan and tilt, basically. Uh, we put this wag flight here to just do some spill control because the wall is a little bit too bright at one point. And then back in here, we got 1200D backlighting that window along with sort of like a 575 HMI scoop that the location already had and a couple of little like table lamp type bulbs they had back there. And then a 650 Fresnel as well, just kind of pinging it. So kind of a weird combination, but we put all that through camp together and then worked really well all as one. I would have done a bigger unit, I think, but um, for what we're doing, it's working really well and um, really feels natural. And then- Lighting um, Jesus up. <laughs> yeah, we, we really haven't had to modify the setup other than panning, tilting that, you know, the egg crate helps, and then just the lenser. Other than that, uh, it's been very much like set and make minor tweaks. I will plug you, don't worry about it. I will plug you. These guys are awesome. And we got the BTS here on film. And the dope T, Malcolm X. Absolute. Yep. And Cheyenne. Say what's up. Say what's up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chris, our AC extraordinaire, hopping on. So, first half of the day went well. We got all the shots we needed to get. Uh, now we're on lunch break, getting ready to eat. And I'm going to load some film, or unload and load some film. Sorry, I didn't really get to show too much of our shooting. Obviously, it's a little hectic when you're the DP and operating camera. I'll see if I can get someone to maybe do a little bit of BTS while we go into the next setups so that you can see a little bit of what we got going on. Yeah, it's been a great shoot thus far. Um, good first half of the day, uh, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So let's finish. Let's get it. So here's our frame that we got going on here. We'll have our talent in right there. <laughs> yeah, if you could head off to uh, camera left. Hey, like if he moves forward or back, I'm going to kind of follow the numbers. Camera. Scene one, Delta, take two. What brought you back? All right, we're on our last shot. Basically, we're trying to get a light through here uh, to kind of come down and reflect on our actor's face who will be down at the altar. What are you thinking? So we're just gonna see if we can get this to work and kind of give us those colors on the face and then we'll have the uh, vortex giving us kind of a pool uh, in front like how we had in the beginning. Uh, and there'll be kind of like a hair light a little bit too. 
Um, but this guy, if we can't get it to work naturally through that, we're gonna try um, to bring it down, uh, the light down, and then kind of do like a kaleidoscope thing with some party gels and see if we can get it to mimic some stained glass on his face. Cause I just think that's gonna be, yeah, that'd be a, dope. a great shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually, in that like little B-roll segment, I got a shot just of that, just like from like, just pretty much a POV directly at it. So you can match that if you want from this shot. We're having a gel party with party gels. I'm making a kaleidoscope dream, hopefully. Camera. Speed. Take Action. That's it. Just unloaded the last roll of film. This is magic in the can right here. It's a wrap on this shoot. We got what we needed and then got a little bit more after that. Uh, overall, it was dope. Dope location. Really good crew. Made it happen. Loading out right now. I don't know if I feel about this whole vlogging thing. Uh, I figured it could just be kind of an interesting way to give some of the you viewers a more inside look into just kind of what it's like on some of the sets that I'm working on. Um, or just people interested in shooting film to see kind of what some of that process is like. I'm by no means like an expert when it comes to lighting or cinematography or anything like that, but I know what I want and I'm learning on how to effectively communicate that. Um, and so during the process of doing that, I wanted to document and share it so that you can get an idea of what that's like as well. And hopefully, you know, enjoy seeing some of the behind the scenes of making some of the things that I make. So, yeah. Are you a trailer guy? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I like to see what's sure. happening. There's the Sony. Next time we come out here, man, we'll, we'll do a lot of stuff. We got the movie about to go check out Woman King. This will be my first time going to a movie with another filmmaker, so. Yeah, let's go. The Woman King, cinematographer and director, <laughs> going to see a movie, lots of critical analysis. Sure. <laughs> All right, y'all, have another Woman King quick review. Pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. Give it a probably 7.5 out of 10. Some little things that took me out, but nothing too bad for the most part. Well written, well acted, solid performances from everyone involved. I'd recommend it go push that thing further into profit because uh, it'd be dope to see some more films uh, featuring an all black cast and <clears throat> predominantly some black women in leads. Uh, for me, it'd be dope to see some that are not, that don't have to be historically based, but it was pretty good. Bon and I picked up some food from this hibachi place downtown. Back at the house, just chilling, hanging out. We're taking off in the morning pretty early. So eating good, gonna sleep good, and then we'll be headed back. We're at the airport, ready to board. Gonna be heading home now. I'm tired. All right, everybody, back in Colorado with the fam and the babies. Safe trip. Uh, so now I'm gonna go home, get ready for the next one. Uh, but that'll be another vlog. That's it for this one, y'all. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.